Hello everyone, welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And today we're gonna talk about, you know, when I'm when I'm doing my videos and I'm putting the, the title to the video on Facebook, YouTube, a lot of times your content is flagged based on the title. But we're gonna talk about, are you the woman or are you the other woman? And we're going to talk about some freaky sex because I had somebody ask me, Miss Sharonda, my man said he want to have freaky sex this year for Valentine's Day. Exactly what does that mean? That means that sometimes we have to put on the hat of the other woman because in our everyday life, we are a woman, we, we women, Right. And we have to carry ourselves in a certain way and we, you know, have to represent ourselves and our family. But when we get in that bedroom, baby, we can become the other woman. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So I hope y'all excited. I hope y'all ready. I'm giving everyone a chance to be able to log in. Please start sharing this video in the group. Uh, just share it. Just click the share button if it is, uh, if it'll allow you to share it that way. More and more and more people can know that I am on live and they can, you know, see it and be able to get on because it is important that we understand the other woman. See, a lot of times women don't understand you can be both. When I tell you to be his hoe, I mean it. I mean, you could be his woman, but you got to be his hoe too. When I do fun parties, I used to have a name tag and it said his hoe because I'm his hoe. I got to be all of these different things that, that are needed in the relationship. He need his woman, but he need his hoe too. Both of them are necessary in his life. Okay. When you look at the outside woman, the real outside woman, you may be the woman, but then there's another woman, right? Both women have a position. And the thing is, regardless to if you exist or she exists, neither position is going anywhere. Okay. I'm going to repeat that again. He can have his wife and he can have the other woman. Both positions are necessary. They are. Both positions are necessary. Both position comes with pros and cons. But the thing is, neither one of the positions are going anywhere. So when I tell wives that I need you to be his hoe, that means that I need you to fill this position too. It's going to be times in your marriage where you got to be this position too. If you don't want him to go out and find this position, you have to be that position too. For example, you work a job, right? There are different tasks that have to be done at this job. Either one person is going to do all the tasks or either the company is going to hire somebody to fill that position for their task. It's no different than in your relationship. Either you're going to wear the hat of being his hoe, which is the other woman. Or the position will get filled. Yesterday was the Super Bowl. I had my hair up, pink curl, just had on regular clothes, throw it around the house cook, had family day with the children, like literally been up since this, that morning cooking, had family day with the children. I wasn't all dolled up and all of this kind of stuff. I'm having family day. In other words, right now I'm, I'm mama, um, wife, I'm all, I'm, I'm all of that for them. Right when that game was coming to the end, I got myself up. I went and took my bath. I sat down. I did my makeup. Y'all know how late the game. Okay, so y'all understand that I did my, it was like late in the evening to be doing makeup. I did my makeup. I pulled out some beautiful lingerie that I had ordered that he had never seen before. I put it on. I pulled my hair down out the pin curls. And at that point, I became his hoe. I had completely transformed myself. 
you, in other words, when you, when he going to see the outside woman and she know he coming over, don't you think she make preparation for herself? You think she done had the stress of her day all over her body when he showed up to see her? Or do you think that she done got a whole fresh face? Or do you think she done put, up, put out her nice shit? Don't you think she done took her bath already? Don't you think she done did all of this stuff in preparation for him to come over? Oh, y'all gonna, y'all gonna stop acting like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Cause I know y'all know what I'm talking about. I better get some likes up on here. Cause I know y'all know what I'm talking about. At that point, I was no longer mama. I was no longer wife. I had turned into the other woman. And when he walked into the room, the other woman was there waiting on him. So my baby who asked me, Auntie Sharonda, when my man say he want to have freaky sex this year, what exactly does he mean? Sweetheart, he wants you to step outside of the box. He want to do something that y'all have not done before. Whether that is, I don't know where your location is, but find your hotel room with a balcony and let him bend you over that motherfucker. What? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I know downtown, when somebody asked me about the hotels with the balconies, I couldn't think off the top of my head at the moment. But when I thought about it, downtown by the liver, they watch the fireworks. And they have people that rent the hotel rooms with the balconies. So they do have hotel rooms downtown with balconies. You just have to request balcony suites. Um, What else can you do? Oh, baby, you can taunt and tease him all day long. Yes, y'all can have dinner. You freaky. We, yeah, this is a cute little bow, but we're going to flip it over. What's that? Oh, vibrating panties with the remote control. 10 speeds. 50 feet range. You mean to tell me I can wear these to dinner? You mean to tell me that I can put these on and he can sit across from the table at dinner and he can operate the pussy? Do you mean to tell me if I tell him, sir, I have to excuse myself to go to the restroom? You mean to tell me he can operate the pussy while I'm in the bathroom? What, sir, you gonna walk to the bar to get... Do you mean to tell me that he could go to the bar, run into somebody, talk to him and still operate the pussy? Oh, okay. Okay. But y'all love to be like, I, I don't know what I want to do this shit for Valentine's Day. Why are you doing the same thing every year is the question. When you got men that's verbally saying, I want something freaky this year, this whole list, this whole little thing is $100. This $100 right here, $100. If you come into the store and you buy the vibrating panties with the remote control by themselves, they $80. But these is 10 speed panties. What? Yes, they $80. They 10 speed panties. So you mean to tell me I can get some nice presentation? Because y'all know, ain't nobody in Beverly Hills got these baths. I'm the only one that got them. I ain't seen nobody else with them. And you already know you can order them online, but you ain't about to get panties and the bath for $100. You're not about to get these roses all over this bath, just in case you didn't see it. And yes, we do ship nationwide, and you can get them in time for Valentine's Day. If you go ahead and order. But anyway, he said he wants some freaky sex. He wants some freaky sex, baby. When y'all get back to that room, I want you to work his ass over every area in that room. Stop getting in the bed. Get your ass out the bed this year. I don't don't even fucking touch the bed. Y'all don't know how to sit men inside. You y'all don't know how to sit men down on the chair and put your foot up on the chair and take his head and pull it into your pussy and just let him breathe it? Y'all don't know how to do this kind of shit. Like, come on. And you talk to him. And you let him know, don't you dare stick your tongue out and think you're going to lick on this pussy. All I want you to do is smell this pussy. That's all you're going to You're going to smell this pussy. If you eat this pussy, you're going to beg to eat this pussy tonight. Y'all don't understand that these men want to be dominated in this type of way. 
Y'all thinking you got to go out there and go do this and go do that and go do this. No, he want you to get in his mind. How do you order? www.dppgstore.com. They're in the feature items. YouTube is down up under the bottom with the website, Instagram, cash up on the end if you want a tip. If you feel like what I'm telling you is going to help you out this year, go ahead and send my coins right now. But anyway, I want you to do shit like y'all can't fuck in the shower. Y'all got the balcony on the suite. You, you, got, you already got the balcony on the suite. You got the shower. I want you everywhere in that bitch but the bed. I don't want you to touch the bed until y'all done went to sleep in that bitch. And then he decided to roll over and jump in some pussy. I don't know what to do. Oh, I, I can't do that. I can't talk like that. But this is what your man asking you for. He, he telling you that this is what he want. He telling you, I want us to step outside of our comfort zone. If you don't know what to say, get on Pornhub and watch some porn. Hmm? Get on Pornhub. Listen to some of that shit they say. Repeat it to yourself. Put that shit down in your spirit. Yeah, I said it. Put it down in your spirit. Talk about some, oh, I don't, I don't know what to do. Instead of doing massage oil this year, how about you get a massage candle this year? And you do a little drip play this year. Yeah. Do a little drip play. Do a little spanking. We got the sets with the handcuff, the blindfold, and the cattail whip. Do a little spanking this year. If you don't want to use the cattail whip, or let him all his hands up good and slap that ass with his hands. Y'all know how to do this. I don't know why. What y'all? What you, you know what's so funny to me? Because I was looking at... um. The woman in the group, she says she's an older woman, and she said for Valentine's Day she gave her her husband, her this her second husband, she says she gave him a week a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, hall pass. That's what she said. She said I gave him a hall pass, and I went and got the room and set the room up, meaning she must have decorated or whatever. She put everything in there for him and the other woman, and she just left him to go to the room with the other woman to have his way with the other woman. He come home, he basically says he couldn't get an erection and nothing happened. And I don't know because I seen some wives in there and they was like, oh, it wasn't you. He couldn't get it up because it wasn't you. I, I, it's always funny to me when I hear wives say stuff like that. Because a lot of y'all always want to feel like you one up in another woman. He didn't come home to the next day. What the fuck you think he was doing up in the room all night long with a stranger that he didn't know? You think they was talking? If, he, if his dick didn't get hard, he had a mouth full of pussy all night. But I'm going to tell you something. His dick got hard and he fucked the shit out of that woman. He just ain't want to come home and tell you about the great time that he had. Because for some, we, for some reason, men always want to make this woman feel like she got one up on the other woman. And you don't want to be able to say that I was able to have a good time with another woman sexually. See, a lot of y'all want to do this threesomes and unicorns. But the thing is, can you mentally handle your man having a really good time with another woman in front of you? Can you really mentally handle that? Because the thing is, I don't do other women. I don't bring other women into my marriage. But if I ever brought another woman into my marriage, baby, I want you to fuck the shit out of her. I want you to have a time of your life with her. I want her to do some shit to you. and I want to hear some sounds that I ain't never heard before. But see, that's the thing. A lot of times we get in this mindset that the other woman ain't making him feel good. And the other woman ain't doing all of this other shit that he want us to do. But we ain't, we, we shy and all of this other shit. If you don't get your shit together and learn some shit, because he don't need another woman when you could be, the, you could be every woman. He don't need another woman when you could be every woman. These other women exist in their lives because it's certain voids they're filling. 
But if I'm going to freak you, fuck you, feed you, support you, affirm you, do everything that I'm supposed to do on my end, she will not exist. You are correct, Chris. He didn't want to make her feel bad. But the thing is, I believe in honesty. And if you had a good time, I need you to just say, I had a good time, but I don't really want to go into details. I'm, I'm, I'm big on honesty. I can deal with anything as long, as long as you're honest. But for you to say you came home and you, you didn't fuck at all, but you stayed all night long, then what the fuck y'all was having? Prayer meeting or something? Come on now, talk to me. But anyway, I'm just trying to get y'all to understand that a lot of times y'all have in y'all mind that when these men is dealing with other women, that there's nothing going on over there, that there's no type of emotional attachment, that he ain't eating no pussy over there, that he didn't do this over there. I want you to understand that men have egos, and when he was over there with the other woman, he was fucking the dog shit out of her. I want you to know that he was leaving a lasting impression on that pussy when he was over there. I want you to understand he was probably fucking her better than he fucked you because men have egos. Men have egos. He comfortable with you. So he feel like he ain't got to put forth all that effort with you. But over there, he know he got to drop dick. What I'm saying is a conversation need to be had. You need to let him know when you in this pussy, you got to drop dick. If you can't drop dick, we're going to go out there and get you something to get, get you some help. If it don't work, then we're going to get some extensions and put on that dick. But either time, it, however it got to go, we're going to have an exciting sex life. We, we're going to have that. No, baby. What's your name? Lou? Lou? I want to say it's Lou Collins. Laura Collins. I don't believe that he's still going to cheat. If you give him all of that, he's still going to cheat. I don't believe that. Men cheat because there's something lacking somewhere. And most times what's lacking is you want to run shit at your house. And when he over there at her house, he don't have that, that type of pressure because she allow him to come in and run shit even if it's just for that moment. She will send her representative just for that moment and let him come over there and run shit. The shit he can't do at home. Whew. All right, y'all. So y'all already know what time of year it is for me. The store is open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. tonight. It's going to be, we're open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We are actually open on Valentine's Day this year. 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Full crew, me, Amber, and Janetta are going to be in this thing. Yes, I do have big baskets available. I was able, well, thank God for my lovely husband. He went all over the city finding me baskets. Some nice-ass baskets, too. But he went all over the city to find me baskets. So even if the ones on the sales floor sell, just depending on the inventory, I may be able to customize you one. And of course, you will pay accordingly. If you want this bear in your basket, I'm letting you know now when you have this bear that is $100 with these vibrating panties with the remote control in your basket, your basket is going to start at $200. I cannot give you your basket for $100 with this particular item in it, the cost of the basket to cost to wrap the basket plus my labor. How I'm going to sell you a basket for $100 when this item in it by itself was $100? And bitch, you ain't even pay me for the basket check. Oh, but let me stop talking like that because y'all getting sensitive talking about some. Oh, Miss Sharonda, her, her, her delivery, her tone. If you go, I got over 200 videos posted on YouTube. If you have been following me for a long period of time, the one thing that all y'all have said over the years is, oh, I love how raw and authentic you are. But because I started talking about wives and I started talking about girlfriends and I started talking about fiancés, now all of a sudden bitches and got sensitive. Lord Jesus, I had like over 300 of y'all um, unsubscribe to my email. I got the report this morning. Last month, y'all unsubscribed to the email because y'all was salty. Because y'all was feeling some type of way. But the thing is, what I know is, the truth hurts a lot of times. The truth hurts. And I don't worry about them 300 and some people that unsubscribe. Because what I understand is, if I was put here to do this assignment, it's greater later. And this is what I know. It's, it's designed to help somebody. 
So a lot of people, they get offended by the truth. And then all of a sudden, when you tell them the truth, now you got to change your delivery. Now you got to change your tone. Now you got to change the way you do things. Even though you've been doing it like this the whole time and this bitch has been the biggest cheerleaders. Yeah, say that shit. Talk that shit. Ooh, I love that shit. Don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, but you got to stop when you saying some shit that they don't want to hear. No, bitch. What you got to do is move the fuck around. That's what got to happen. So, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you go to the website. Make sure you shop. The website is down here at the bottom, YouTube. The website is at the bottom. Go to the featured items. All Valentine's Day stuff is in the featured items. Yes, you can get this shipped to you. And being that this is over $100, guess what? It's free to ship it. You don't have to pay shipping on it. All you got to do is order it. You all be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Be safe. And y'all, we about to get ready for Valentine's Day 2021. Let's go.